Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to episode 8 of our space shooter tutorial in Game Salad. And um, in this version, or in this uh, episode, I guess you would say, of the series in this segment, um, we're going to set up our score, because in the original, as we play the game, um, let's see, when we come up here and we shoot an enemy, it doesn't actually add anything to our score. And also, now that we're not making a, a maze style shooter, um, we can also get rid of this uh, upwards motion on the canvas. We don't need to map that large. We can stay towards the bottom of the screen and just give it a little bit of left and right movement um, for fun, but we don't really need it to be that high. It'll allow us to control the flow of enemies a little bit better as well. So we'll go back to the editor and um, Let's see how large the game is. Our display size is 320 by 568, so 568 tall. So I'm going to copy that. And in our scene, we're going to change it to um, 568. All right, so it's back to the size of our camera. Let's check this out. Uh, we can move left and right a little bit, which looks kind of nifty, but there's no upwards motion. You could just go around the screen, which is still good. I like this. Um, now we need a way for enemies to come out because they're not coming out. Let's see what's going on with that. Let's go to our enemy spawner. Every two seconds. Game with one zero. Oh, at six, from position 1600, that would take a while. So let's just put from position 600, because we're at 568, and let's try this again. All right. Did we put our actor in the scene? Did we get rid of it when we made the scene too small? It should still be there, though. Let's see. We have our enemy spawner. Yeah, we have an enemy spawner. Let's move it back to the screen. All right, so here's our enemy spawner. That should have worked anyway. So every two seconds. There they are. I don't know why, maybe it was just too far off scene and that's why it wasn't working. Um, but anyway, all I did was I went up here um, into the location of our enemy spawner and I reset that back to zero, zero. You can always do that if you lose an item and it'll pop up on your bottom left. You can just drag this over and um, put it back into your scene. I'm not sure why, just because it was super far off scene it wasn't rendering or it wasn't actually running or whatever the case, but we just moved that back. And then in our spawn actor section, uh, we just change this to 600, that way it'll show up above um, the screen size of 568, that's all. So, it's all working now, and it's a much more palatable format of moving left and right, and shooting enemies, and you can kind of tell where things are going, and everything's good. Ah, oh no, they're piling up. Alright, so, that works. Now, we need it to actually add to our score whenever we kill one. So, we'll go back to our actors, and we'll find our enemy. And let's say... Where it has self HP equals zero, destroy this actor. We want to add a change attribute, so change attribute. Because our game's score down here is an attribute. And we're going to move this above the destroy event, because if it runs the destroy event first, it'll stop running all the code after, so this will never get run. So, what we're going to change is if we go to the Attribute Browser, uh, it keeps loading off screen, but here it is. We're going to go to Attributes, Game, Score. And that's going to change our score. What are we going to change it to? This one's a little bit tricky. Instead of just putting 1 here, because that would change it to 1 every time you killed an enemy, it would just automatically change it back to 1. Um, we actually want to make this our current score plus 1. So, we if we have 10, it makes it 11. If we have 0, it makes it 1, whatever the case. So we're going to go to attributes, we're going to go to game, we're going to go to score again, and then we're going to, in here, type plus 1 and hit this checkbox. Now it's going to change our attribute game score to its current score plus 1. Uh, if we hit play, we should be able to see that in action. 
minus one, two, and we have a working score counter. If we change it to current score plus 100, it would look more like the old arcade games where it's 100 points every kill. And that's kind of a cool look too. So yeah, I'll leave this here for now and um, we'll come back to this in a bit. Uh, thank you so much for watching and being patient with me. I'm a new teacher at a high school and um, I had to take some time to get, uh, get caught up on some lesson plans there, so I didn't get as much time to do videos, but I'm working on getting right back on track. All right, thank you so much for watching, and have a good day. Peace.